Welcome back to the channel. This week we're at Jimna Base Camp. We've got a whole bunch of boys with us. We've been driving the National Park tracks all weekend. We've had some cracking time. Stick around and we'll show you what's been happening. So it's a beautiful Friday's winter morning in Woodford where we've just met up for the weekend. A uh, bit of a boys trip this weekend. We got Bruce up in front in the Maxi. We got Trent behind us in the 200 and Shano and Lachlan in the, in the Ranger at the back. And this weekend, we're kind of just exploring uh, a couple of the national parks up through here. Uh, the aim of the game today, a few tracks end up hopefully at the pub uh, in Kenilworth for lunch and then a few more tracks to Savvy and ultimately to Jimna Base Camp where we're gonna stay both nights and explore again tomorrow uh, all around this area. So we've already let our tires down. We're about two minutes off the first track. Cannot wait. <laughs> Fellas, I just had a uh, big bag of firewood come down the windscreen over the bottom. Conondale National Park. This is the lookout. So we're about, we've just had lunch in Kenilworth. And let me tell you, if you haven't been to Kenilworth pub, the smoked brisket, smoked beef brisket was sensational. Yes. yes. <laughs> and then we chased it down with some really unhealthy donuts, which were also sensational. Um, we're halfway up the hill on our way. To, we're on our way to Jim the night of the camp. We're taking a few tracks the way to get there. It's just come up across this lookout. 
Look at that! How pretty is that? Isn't that's that stunning? <laughs> that is beautiful. Again, the camera won't do this justice, there's no chance, but it's just, that's magnificent. So we've had to stop again on another track because one of the fellas up here has decided he just doesn't like ratcheting stuff down properly. So you know, what's happened here? Well, that decided it didn't want to be up there. That's what's happened. Was that the one that didn't want to be up there earlier? Is that a different one? Yeah, no, that's, no, that's the different one. That one. So, so that one, that one didn't want to be up there and it fell on the bonnet. Yeah. And, and that one <laughs> didn't want to be up there and it fell on the ground. Do you reckon it just wants to get burned? Yeah, I think so. Right and it's gonna. It's gonna. I may, so, I may have, uh, I may have lost the two bits of, two bags of wood that were here. I'm not sure where. It could be anywhere at this point. What do you think went wrong? Ratchet strapping was the issue. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Bad ratchet strapping. I should have watched, there's a video on YouTube about how to use a ratchet strap. I should have, I should have uh, watched it before it came on this trip. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Gym and a base camp is where we're at tonight and tomorrow night. We've scored, well, there's only one other couple in the far corner and we're basically here and around. There's a couple of good toilet blocks there. They supply you with fire pits. It's a level oval, it used to be a school. We camped here a while ago. It's a brilliant place. And we're back. There's no wind, sun's going down, fire's lit. Everybody's setting up camp. So we're gonna have a couple of quiet beers, cook a bit of feed, and sit down and have a few laughs. And we'll do some more tracks tomorrow. Fire to Fork is another inspirational recipe. It is beer snacks, not boring beer snacks, just little stupid dips with a little stupid chip. This is proper beer snacks. So, cheese. I gotta fix that fridge. Um, cheese, prosciutto, double brie. Okay, so according to Harry, what we wanna do is hopefully this is not split broken it's not. Maybe it's that in the pan and we'll get our prosciutto. I'm gonna cut this up into little chunky bits, put it around it and then we're gonna put it over here over the fire for about 10 minutes and it's gonna turn into gooey goodness. I'm gonna spread all this nice prosciutto out a little bit. Let's make it all nice and thin and gorgeousness and when we put it on the fire it's just all gonna oh it's gonna come together in this gooey crunchy pasty sort of stuff so we might just we'll come back when we've got all this in the pan all right so last couple of bits into the pan and we're off to the fire not too hot, so it's maybe, let me have this way. Cool, so we're gonna leave that there for about 10 minutes. And we'll flip it, cook the other side. Let's see how it tastes. Come closer, come here, come here, I'm gonna show you this. I think it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna flip it over. Whoa. Yeah, see, look at that, it's starting to get nice. So we'll leave it about another, maybe six or seven minutes. Then we'll try it. So it's been another six or eight minutes or ten minutes and that looks just about perfect. So 
we'll grab this. Probably should have used the handle. Anyway, we'll go back over here and see what it looks like. This little bad boy up. Yeah. Is it gooey? Oh, it's gooey. Is it gooey enough? Oh, we might just give that another couple of minutes. No, we're not using map gas. We're just gonna give it another couple of minutes. Right, we're done. It's time to eat it. All right, I think that's way better. Another. Oh, it's definitely sizzling. Hold it. Oh, that does sound an awful lot better. Let's just spread it out. A little bit of quince paste. So let's give it a go and see what it tastes like. So we've got some uh, apricot macadamia crackers here. All right, let's get a bit of this. Bit of that. Oh, that's a bit much. That's all right, doesn't matter. Love it. Come on, boys. Hook in. We'll get into it. I've woken up. A little bit of ice around. It was a bit cold last night. <laughs> hey? Yes, it was. <laughs> it was a bit cold last night. It is the morning of day two. We're at Gym to Base Camp. We're just about to leave. Breakfast has been done. We're packing up. We're heading up to Imble Pub today for lunch through a few tracks that we've just heard. A few motorbikes have gone through, but we're not sure how good it's going to be for vehicles. So it could be an interesting day on the tracks. Cannot wait for today. It's beautiful day again. Blue sunny skies, no wind, but fresh in the mornings, but it's warming up to be another sensational day. Let's get on the road. Cooking here, mate. Oh, 
brisket and ribs. <laughs> That's terrible. That's oh, such a bad good. meal, eh? It's gonna taste terrible. <laughs> uh, I might have to throw it out. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here, but the two back boys have decided they'll, they're gonna roast their donuts. Is that a first for you two? I'm just gonna heat them up. That sounded very good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the trip. Everybody's airing up now, packing up. We're all done. We've had brekkie. Fire is just about done. We burned an awful lot of firewood last night. It was a really ripping fire because it was freezing. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.